Hey guys, this is Learning96, and I'm coming back at you guys for a toy review. Now, I'm not going to do a Godzilla or Ultraman, surprisingly, or Gamera or any kaiju. Um, since my good friend is Am uh, Hanrahan15 has gotten into the review stuff recently, he uh, did a review of two of his Predators, his Berserker and his Classic, uh, with the damaged mask. So, I thought it'd be cool if I did my own review of my own uh, Alien and pre uh, Predator figures that I have, because I have both. Because I love the franchise. Um, well, not the AVP movies. I thought they were okay, but that's uh, another thing for another day. Um, but I thought the individual series were great. Love the original Alien movies, and I love the first Predator. And Predators was pretty good. Um, so yeah, let me get on to this two-part review. I will be reviewing... Hold on a minute. The AVP bundle uh, pack that, like, the Toys R Us exclusive. Yeah, I'm, I picked this up uh, a while ago, actually. Pretty sweet. So, you get... Uh, Classic Predator Unmask and the uh, original Alien. And the cool thing about this exclusive set is you get skulls of the Alien and the Predator. So I'm going to do a two part review. First part will be him, and the second part will be him. So let me get him out of the way. So let me first get off to his story, which is on his. Uh, I don't have the box, but I have the back piece to it. This giant back piece. So I'll read the alien's description. When the crew of the Nostromo, uh, Nostromo answers a distress signal from a dislo uh, disloaded planet, I think, they discover a deadly life form that breeds within a human host. And so... Uh, the horror begins, a horror that will end the lives of six crew, member, crew members and alter the life of the seventh forever. Yeah. That's kind of the gist of the first Alien movie. And down here you got all the figures that were released by NECA, not McFarland. Uh, um, you got the Alien Warrior, uh... Pred Alien, the AVP, Alien Warrior, the Wolf Predator Mask, the Wolf Predator Masked, the Falconeer, which I have, the Berserker Mask, the Classic, um, the Tracker, excuse me, the Berserker Unmasked, the Classic Masked, and the uh, Classic Battle damaged on mass. And I also have the Alien Warrior MVP, so. Yeah, that's the back. Now on to the figure. Um, for detail, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna pick my camera off my stand because he's pretty tall. And. Show you a close up of how beautiful this guy is. This guy is really, really nice. I mean, the face looks really great. They got the skull look, because the original alien design is a lot different compared to the later versions. Nice butt shot. It's kind of like humped over. He's got human-like fingers. Chest. I mean, they get all these lines and ridges all in the figure. <coughs> if you can't tell... This is, uh, alien or xenomorph, uh, looks a lot like a human because, like it said on the back, if n if you've never seen the original Alien, which you should because it's a classic movie, um, the alien will, will this face hugger creature will come out of an egg, attach your face, and plant a baby inside of you, and, uh, a creature called Chestbuster will burst out of your chest and turn into something like this. 
It's pretty sweet. And the cool thing about this version by NECA is you can open its mouth like that. And like he can in the movie, I can pull it out. He can shoot out his second mouth. Because he'd do it quickly like whoosh, and basically tear apart your face. So, yeah, you wouldn't want to be attacked by this creature. So, yeah, anyway, on detail, it's really, really cool. I mean, they get all of these ridges and bumps. If you want another cool figure of the original like this one, I recommend the Revotech version, which I may pick up in the future, but yeah. So let me just stand the camera back up. Alright, now on to articulation. Since my guy is, I don't really play around with him that much. He's kind of stiff, but the arms have like a ball joint right here. They can uh, somewhat bend here. These hands can swivel. So you can do that. So he's like, come here. <laughs> Um, the face is, I mean, the head is, like, moves like a ball joint a little bit, but there's some wires, so I'd be careful. The tail is rubber, but it's really long, so that's a good thing. It's kind of small, though, because, I mean, his tail is pretty beefy. Uh, the legs can move like that. Bend at the knee, and at the feet, if I can move it. It's kind of stiff, but it can. <laughs> And you can move it the chest a little bit, but it's, mine is really stiff since I don't play with mine that much. So yeah. Um, let me get onto his skull. This is the skull for the alien, and you can move its mouth, which is pretty cool. And you can just see how it, how their head looks. He he does have eyes. As f s. S. Hammerhand was joking about that he doesn't have eyes. He does. But. He knows he does. But. He's just joking. Yeah, the eyes are right there. Shown in the skull. Now. This is the alien warrior. Skull. It's kind of funny because then if you look at this version. This one has a different skull. Because if you look at the eyes. I don't know if you can see that well. You can see it well in the back. They kind of have a human eye skull. Right, let me set them down. Right there. So. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Because uh, this version appeared in the original Alien. As kind of told by that. He was a one man show. Only one of them. On the sequel. There were a bunch of them. And. Uh, the first one was more of a pop out horror. And the second one was more of the science fiction horror. Like, there was uh, action, and there's some shooting, and violence, and crap. All good fun. I mean, the first two Aliens are probably in my top favorite movies. So, definitely recommend them. Now, I'll get on to sizing. Here is him compared to the Predator. Now, if some of you AVP fans are arguing, saying, Oh, this isn't right, this isn't right, it actually is right. Because, if, uh, they kind of bullshitted this in the movie, but the alien is, is probably, in fact, taller than a predator. Since most of the times aliens crawl because they're four-legged, um, because they can crawl all over the walls and stuff and blend in with the uh, darkness, which makes them creepy. But he was indeed this tall, because if you look in the uh, original Alien movie, he was pretty dang tall compared to the humans. The Predator was still pretty tall, but I mean, if you want to go to the for the original against this original, this would be correct sizing. So, yeah. And compared to a Godzilla, I'll go grab one really quickly, because I'm kind of getting short on time. Hold on a minute. This is what he looks like against Heisei Godzilla. Yeah, it tells how big he is. Now this isn't accurate, but I'm just showing you size, so. 
And for paint job, it is correct because he is a really dark black as he blends in with the background. Like shadows, that's where they normally hide. So, yeah, this is correct. So, overall, I'm going to probably give this figure a 9 out of 10. 9 because the articulation's kind of weird. I mean, it works well. But, I mean, it it kind of is stiff at a lot of times, and it could break easily, so. But, otherwise, detail's great. I didn't mention it, but the head kind of looks weird, because it's kind of drawn in there, so. But, the Rebel Tech, you can, like, pop this piece off, and it looks really cool inside, so. Another reason to get the Rebel Tech, too. But, if you want it cheap out and get this version, like me, uh, it's a great figure. I mean, he's really tall. He's got good articulation, uh, accurate color, and just really good treat for alien, the original Alien fans like me. If you want to know my take, Aliens, man, they rock. Even though they're cold-blooded killers, they kick the Predator's ass any day. Ah, yeah. <laughs> that looked really wrong, but I didn't. Sorry about that. I didn't mean that. But, yeah. So, I totally recommend this figure. I'm going to give him a 9 out of 10. Um, try and go for this set, because it's a pretty cool set since you get two figures. I don't know if it's still available at Toys R Us, because it was when I was there. It was a long time ago. It was like $20, which is a great deal for two figures. So, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed this review, part one of the AVP pack, originals. So yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next part, which I'll probably be uploading right after part one. So, see you guys.